Hi there. One of the questions I get asked a lot about harmonicas is how do you clean it? How do I clean my harmonica? How do I maintain it? That's what people ask. So my question back to you would be, well, why do you want to clean it? If it's dirty, if it looks dirty, if it's got some crud on it, some dried up stuff that you really don't want, if it smells bad, yeah, then you've got to clean it. Definitely. And if it's a very simple clean, like there's a bit of crud on here where you've been playing it, saliva's dried, I would just tend to use a toothbrush and just do that with it and flick it out on all four sides. And that's pretty much all I would do. You might want to do that with it if it's a bit of crud on there that you don't like the feel of. That's pretty much it. Now you could cut the bristles off the toothbrush so that they don't go into the reed, into the into the hole. That can get stuck in the reed and that's not very good, not very bad, but not very good. So I would tend to do that. Some people will have a little cloth that comes with it and you'll want to, when you first get a harmonica, you'll want to polish it like you do with your car on a Sunday morning. You put it on the drive and give it a polish and the neighbours go by and you go, that's my car, thank you very much. <laughs> Worked hard for that one. So you might want to do the same thing with your harmonica. Give them a polish on a Sunday morning and show your neighbours. I don't know. So you can do that with any kind of polishing and there's sprays you can get, of course, for that sort of thing. Now, what about if it's smelly? Well, you could use something like Mighty Mist. Let me grab some Mighty Mist. Hold on. All right, here's one that I use to give it that minty fresh. I don't know if you'll see this because it's green and I'm using a green screen. So maybe if I hold it, it'll probably just appear like a white liquid, but it is in fact green. So it's called Mighty Mist. And that's one that I have used. And that is sold by Harmonica Companies. It's actually for brass instruments, a mouthpiece cleanser. So it'll it'll clean and give you a 70% propanol by volume. Water flavouring and colouring. So it gives you a nice minty fresh flavour. So if that's what you want, you can do that. That's good. This one I had to take apart the other day because one of the reeds went out and it was quite stuck together. And as I tried to pry it open, it, it was it resisted a lot. And when it finally ping, when it did come apart, I could see where the cover plate was sealed by the, uh, let's say, the contents of the sticky stuff, whatever that was. And you might think, oh, that's disgusting. That's gross. I've got to get it out of there. But if it doesn't smell and it's not bad and it's not unhygienic and it's not full of germs well only it's only me that's played this thing ever so probably it was okay but it, the point was that it sealed it so it made it very airtight so if it does fill up a bit it is going to be more airtight now you don't want to reinfect yourself with bacteria do you remember the story about bagpipe lung where the inside of the bagpipe got some kind of horrible bacteria and um, the guy that was playing it, every time he played the bagpipes, he got really sick and got to, you know, seriously ill. And then when he stopped playing it for a while, he got a lot better. So after a while, they figured out that it was the contents of the bagpipes. It's called bagpipe lung. You can look it up. I don't think you'd have that with the harmonica. So the other things you can do, I mean, when you've got it apart, if you need to do that, you can give it a little scrub on there again with the cut down bristles that might be better <clears throat> um, not much you can do that you see you get it stuck in there if you're not careful but it doesn't look like it's dirty to me so why would you clean it if it's not dirty you could spray it so it's hygienic um, you you don't want it going rusty so you don't want it getting wet but if it does get wet and it will when you're using it in the mouth then you can just tap it out after playing so that's what I tend to do, tap it out after playing 
And I don't use a box for the harmonicas. I don't, you know, one of these. I, I don't keep them in a box like that. Once they're out of the box, the box, get, the box gets put away and I keep them in a, a case that I had made for me, which you can, you can buy these lots of different types of things like this. So I just keep them in here and that's where they stay. So they, they are dry. They stay dry, they stay dust free. So I think people feel like they want to clean them more than is actually necessary. And if you want to give a real deep clean, you can use ultra sound. You can put it in an ultrasonic cleaner. You can take it apart, put it into the liquid, add some cleaning liquid and fizz it for a little while. And that's a deep clean. And of course, if it's valved, like that's a Suzuki Pro 20 that's valved. I think that will probably play havoc with the valves, so that wouldn't help. So the, I think the answer is, when you finish playing, tap it out, put it somewhere to dry, probably leave it that way rather than that way, you don't want it gathering dust and junk. If it gets smelly and dirty, you can use a spray like that. If it's just a bit of crud on the outside of it, I mean, another thing you can do is you can put it in a in a little saucer of water so it's about that deep and then that leave it there for a couple of minutes and then when you go to go to scrape this out it will just come away and it look absolutely brand new you could take the comb out of it and you could just very very lightly sand it down to remove all traces actually I did that when I took this one apart I thought well I will give it a clean since I'm taking it apart but maybe that was a mistake because it, the airtight quality is what makes harmonicas better. So I don't know. Why don't you try it and tell me what you think works best for you? I've never had never had a problem in 30 years of playing with harmonicas getting dirty as such. Never had a problem with it. But you feel like you want to maintain them and be nice to them. The longer you're nice to them, the longer they'll be nice to you. So... Give it a polish and um, it'll last longer, won't it? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Does that help a bit for the person who asked me about maintaining harmonicas? Just be nice to them and they'll be nice to you. How's that? All right. Well done. See you later.